live entertainment. This is the magic of live performing. I have known John forever, although not quite as forever as Greg B. John was just a kid when we first met him. He was a six foot tall child. <laughs> now he's four feet. At first he said, I should introduce him any way I want, but then he thought better of that. <laughs> so here goes. John is glad to be here. He is especially glad his luggage arrived with his last flight because without his luggage, a juggler is just a mime. <laughs> Me now? You now! Yeah. They, uh, they had everything in the shrine building. This, yeah, the shrine building has sudden explosions, for example. <laughs> <laughs> These deluxe tables for suitcases, for example. This is my luggage. It's embarrassing that my luggage is here with me, but I've heard you're supposed to keep it with you at all times. <laughs> So this is actually the luggage that I travel with, uh, including places where they have employees of the hardworking TSA. And yeah, hardworking employees of the TSA, which stands for take stuff away. Very good. <laughs> See my stuff before, have you? It hasn't improved. <laughs> but uh, the thing is, I, I found something cool here. This, this is awesome. There's, I'm, I'm living in Germany now. Sprechen Sie Deutsch? Sehr gut, okay. Die Reste von meinem Show hätte ab und wäre auf Deutsch sein, weil ich habe fast meine ganze Show vergessen. I'm just kidding, das ist Bullshit. Um, <laughs> the thing is, Germans, they, they, they have these cool things called ball stands. Isn't this cool? <laughs> so the ball won't roll away. They have this amazing, and if you forget which way it goes, it doesn't matter. <laughs> so what I do is, uh, before I do a show, I always give an audience test. Um, in order to do an audience test, I just do a trick and see if I get a good response. Uh, but I, I rule out this trick because it's too easy. It's me trying to get the ball in the cup of the album. See? You see? Oh, good. Oh, all right. Okay. Yeah, that's awesome. Uh, that gives me a lot of faith. But actually, it would be better for this audience test if instead of a, uh, a big ball in a cup like that, we use a slightly smaller ball and leave the cup out. So, <coughs> do, the reason I'm kind of disorganized is when we were setting up, I'm like, yeah, I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to do a ball bounce number. I had neglected to ask if anyone else is doing a ball bounce number. And someone is. And it's way better what I was going to do. <laughs> so, so, I decided instead of the bouncing ball, it was a stage ball. Stage balls are made not to bounce off of the audience. So, if the performer is nervous, uh, and he drops, they won't bounce off the audience. That's a stage ball. Okay, so the thing I'm going to do is instead of instead of putting the ball on the I'm trying to catch the ball on my head uh, using just a kick. If the ball lands on my forehead and it doesn't fall off, everybody just go wow and clap your hands. Okay? But if I miss, if it goes wrong, you just set and go. Oh. Okay, so this time I really have to try it. I'm very grateful that Jonathan Perry let me use this mic of his. I'll try to keep this quick so I don't use up his battery. <laughs> but uh, if most of the time up here is me trying to make this fit my normal human size here. <laughs> Instead of whatever that is on the side of your head, sir, I'm not going <laughs> to... What, what, what? Was something else wearing this before you? Okay, if it lands in my face, it's wild. I'm not going to Okay, that's awesome. That's awesome. Because, see, I have this thing here. Um, the, the TSA always asks why. And when, I'm, when I'm traveling, they always ask, why am I carrying... So many of these. <laughs> and I tell them, because I'm a juggler, and I need a lot of these. <laughs> no. The thing is, uh, that deluxe table is starting to open up.
I have to have the knives now. Because now, as a lot of you might know, I've taken my show from permanent street performing in the summer and completely being broke in the winter to trying to work on cruise ships. And sometimes they call me and it's really fun when I get it. But the building of my show on cruise ships is a juggler slash comedian. So. <laughs> However, you guys have seen this before, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to combine it with something else. Here we go. I hope you like this. This is a combination trick. Christ, I like it. Okay. Now, those, of course, is. Take my hand away from the side of the chair. And wait, hold on. Save it up. I'm going to take my other hand away from the other side of the chair. I like that joke much better than the rhetoric of the rest of this trick. And you said I'm six feet tall, not after this time. Yes, exactly. Wouldn't it be amazing if I could maintain this balance and juggle these knives smoothly wow. without dropping the mic? <laughs> but I can't, so I'm sorry. We're <laughs> just going to do something else. <laughs> um, I want to show you a little comic release bring you into my life a little bit. I'm living in Germany now, and then in Germany, Deutschland, the word for a plunger is uh, Pumpe. Can everybody say this with me on three? The word is Pumpe. Ready? One, two, three. Pumpe. Yeah, that's cool. Huh? So what's cool about a Pumpe is it's named after, in English, the, the things we do with it. We sort of pump and pull. <laughs> Pumping. <laughs> That sucked. <laughs> <laughs> ah, cool. Some people actually smile like that. I don't expect full belly laughs. I were really funny, I wouldn't eat all this crap. <laughs> I have to use all these props to make up for not being that funny. Now, I can do the balance and I can place the ball in like this. But, we already did the super easy non-trick. So far you've passed your audience test. So as a reward, instead of the German plunger or football, I brought the American one. Ah. Here we go. Yeah, a little bit. Uh, somebody tell me what the cover is the 
Thank you, that visible kind of did well. Okay, so this is the hard part for it, right? Okay, this is impossible. Thanks for jumping to my assistance, but I got it. Freaking lights. Jonathan. John Nations in three. 